Okay, we're going to start creating our book cover and our book inside. Okay, so let's first thing with a right click, uh, 3D object, we want a quad. And the reason we cannot use a cube is because I need something different on one side than the other. So I'm going to call this front cover. And I like the size of 8.5 by 11, but we're going to change it to 000. zero, zero. Sorry. Zero. And then we can move it. And then we're going to make it 4 point. Four point two five by five point five. Okay, so we have a big page, and then we're gonna give it the cover. Now we're gonna duplicate this, and we're gonna call this inside, uh, left, front, inside. And I'm going to rotate this 180. And we're going to give it um, this left. Now then, if we make this big so that we can see it, if we could draw Alt and look around, we can see that one side is the cover and one side is the inside. Okay. So now on the front, we're going to add a button. So let's... um. Add a canvas. Right click, UI, canvas. Well, instead of, let's just add it at the bottom. Instead of dragging it up, we'll do it at the bottom first. UI, canvas. Okay, so we're going to just leave it the word canvas. That's fine with me. And we want to say this is world space. Okay, it's given us a warning, which I'm just going to ignore for now. And we want 800 by 1,000. And I'm giving 0, 0, 0. zero. And then, let's see. Okay. So we want this canvas to be the same size as the book. So we're going to have to try to guess somewhat. Well, it shouldn't be too much, I guess, but we're going to try. Um, I'm going to say point zero five. That's pretty close. Point zero five. That's pretty close. So that's pretty good enough as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to give this canvas to front cover. And then within him, we're going to add a button. UI yeah, element button. So button. And we're going to make him a little bigger. Let's see. Uh, 400. Well, 300. Maybe. It doesn't really matter. By 150. Hmm. It's awful big. Let's try 100. And we can change the color or whatever. For now, um, let's have the text. can say anything you want. I'm going to say open. But you can make it say anything you want. And you know, remember we found our fonts? Let's go ahead and get those. I'm going to save this. Or what shall I say? And let's create another folder called fonts. And let's create another folder called Sounds or Audio, whatever you like. And um, we will go get our fonts in the next video because I can't remember where I put those. They might be in downloads. Let's see if they're in downloads. Okay. Um, let's look in downloads.
We do have some fonts here. And I may have even downloaded them. Let's see if... Um, So let's see what's in here. Capitals. Let's look at documents. Flip it. On it. Okay. I'm gonna, these look good to me. I'm going to drag these in there. I'm just going to drag one of them. That's good. So, on our text, let's change the font to this, since we did download it. And let's um, make it bold. And let's make it overflow so that it won't truncate it. We can't see very much, can we? Let's make the font bigger. Let's say um, one for four. That's better. Maybe one twenty-four or one oh eight. Okay, that sounds good. And then we can change the color. to whatever you like, white. Of course, then we'd have to change the background color of this. The button's background color. Let's say he's a UI mask. And then we can take the button and move him up. Or not. We can just leave it there. Let's go ahead and just, um, instead of UI mask, let's go ahead and just say button and change its color. Don't, uh, looks good. What's none? Okay, that's not good. That's fine. And let's change its color. Its background color. Okay. Let's look. Or we can change this texture, but right now we're not going to focus a whole lot on that. Let's go ahead and change the scale. And after we get going, we can make the look bigger. So it doesn't do anything right now, but we can move the open button up over here. That way it's kind of covering up the other, and let's make the width 400. There. Alrighty. So, we got our fonts, and we created a canvas, and the next one we're going to work on rotating that. Okay? So, I'll see you then.